If you're looking for some summer outfit inspo, this is the video for you. Today I'll be sharing with you eight different summer outfits that you can copy using items you already likely have something similar to in your wardrobe. Now this video is a little bit longer and a little bit more chit chatty than my normal outfit inspo videos, but I just wanted to try something different. So if you get to the end and you prefer this format, let me know in the comments down below and I'd be happy to do more videos like this moving forward. If you want to see more practical outfit inspo and relatable style content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out my new style membership called the Feeling Good Style Club. You get all of the goodies seen here alongside my seasonal wardrobe guides, as well as daily outfit inspo, daily outfit combos using those wardrobe guides sent straight to your email every week. And without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing that I wanna start with is this tiered maxi skirt that I've been loving lately. You guys have probably heard me talk about it a million times in every single video so let's throw it on i saw a woman the other day wearing a pretty similar skirt and she kind of did this like westerny type of look to it so i'm gonna be taking this little denim top that i thrifted the other day it is so cute so let's throw this on and see what we can do with it all right we have the little top on again everything that you're going to be seeing here should just be used as inspiration like i'm sure not every single person has a top exactly like this but Maybe you have like a navy blue tank top, or maybe you just have like some type of bustier top that you can wear, or you can do anything you want. So just use all of these outfits as inspo and let's throw some cowboy boots on. Okay, I really like this actually. I have a mirror right here, so I'll be staring at myself over there. But I think this looks really nice. It's obviously giving very like coastal cowgirl, which is definitely one of the summer aesthetics I've been seeing a lot lately, so no complaints. So a part of me wants to add this gold belt that I have. I don't think I'm gonna like it, but let me just put it on and see what happens. So I initially was gonna do this crocheted kind of smoky blue bag, but it just feels like there's almost blocks going on in my outfit and I don't want blocks. I want things to kind of flow very smoothly maybe draw the eye to certain areas, but nothing that's too like chopped off, if that makes sense. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually do this brown bag. You know what? I do think that there's just too much going on. I think that with the little eyelets in the skirt and then the shape in the belt, I just, I don't know. I just think it's too much. So do with this what you will and let's move on to the next outfit. So next we're going to move the denim from the top to the bottom. I have my Levi's mid thigh 501 shorts, a summer staple, a summer classic, always going to be in my wardrobe no matter what. So let's throw them on. So next I'm going to take my off white kind of beige tank top and throw it on, probably tuck it in. Let's see. Very simple, very classic. I'm sure you have something similar to this in your wardrobe, but let's spice it up a little bit. I think it can be sometimes hard in the summertime to create visual interest with your outfit. So I'll be styling this in a way that I like, and maybe you can copy it too and do it with your summer wardrobe as well. I'm gonna be taking this striped button up that I have here, which has been truly probably my most worn thing this entire summer so far. It's really lightweight. I think it's 100% cotton, so very breathable. Okay, let me show you exactly how I do this. So I have the buttons all the way buttoned. I just don't like the look of it when it's open. I feel like it looks kind of messy. Face it out, and then I want you to fold it over just a little bit, and then throw it over your shoulders. But I find that this gives almost a little bit of a shelf to hold on to your shoulders. It just looks better and it feels more comfortable. So this is one option. So you can leave it open and draped like this. It's no problem. Do whatever you want. Or you can tie it in the front. I like to just make sure that the sleeves are like relatively flat. I really like this. Obviously play with it a little bit if you want, if it's a little bit messy, but I hope you guys can see where it adds a little bit of depth to an otherwise kind of boring outfit. I just love draping basically anything over my shoulders. So maybe give it a try. And then to finish this off, I think I'm just gonna throw some sneakers on. These sneakers 
have been through the ringer. I actually wore them to Bonnaroo a couple weeks ago, which like I knew what I was doing wearing white sneakers to Bonnaroo, but um, I need a new pair. So disregard, please. I kind of like the idea of the brown bag again, just because I feel like there's not too many dark warm tones here. All right, so this is the second look, another really easy outfit. You probably already have a lot of similar items like this in your wardrobe. All right, let's move on to outfit three. For this, I think I wanna put some trousers on maybe. Maybe do a little bit more of like a dinner-esque type of look, but I don't know, we'll see. Let me grab my trousers. One of my favorite things about doing videos like this is the in-between outfits because I feel like sometimes the in-between outfits actually make a really cute outfit. So here's another option for you. So I'm gonna throw on this white sleeveless top and probably tuck it in. Let's just see how it looks. I've been wanting to experiment more lately with wearing my shirts untucked, but I kind of just realized that it doesn't work really well with my proportions. I'm 5'3", I'm not super short or anything, but like I'm definitely on the shorter side and I feel like I'm always trying to elongate my legs a little bit. And I have a video all about the rule of thirds. I'll link it above here, but it's all about kind of using proportions and using this rule of thirds where you split your body up into thirds to create visual breaks and create better proportions. So what I'm about to be doing is actually a pretty good example of that, which is just tucking this in. Like it's nothing revolutionary, but it is one of those things where once you know about it and once you're educated on it, you can apply it more intentionally to your looks. So let's do it. So I wanna add some matching accessories here. I'm gonna be doing black sandals, a black belt, a black bag, and then I might just throw some sunglasses on my head, almost like a hair accessory, honestly. Sometimes I mostly just wear them up here. Fashion over function. This is one of my all time favorite things to do. And I pretty much only ever do it with my black accessories. So I have the black bag, black belt, black shoes, and it just kind of sandwiches it really nicely. I find that sometimes when I'm wearing a very lighter neutral outfit, it feels a little bit flat, a little bit one dimensional. And honestly, the same goes for when I'm wearing an all black outfit as well. So I just like to add contrast in it to make it look a little bit more visually interesting. Another really easy outfit to copy. I'm sure you have similar items like this in your wardrobe. So now let's move on to the fourth outfit. So I wanna do something with this floral dress here. So when I do wear this, I generally like to dress it down. So let me throw on what I'm thinking and then I'm gonna explain just a little bit more about high-low dressing to you guys. So I'm gonna add a pair of chunky sneakers, probably with a pair of tall socks as well. And then I'm thinking a hat but let's see what it looks like. Okay, I really like this. I've also worn this a million times, so I knew I was going to like it, but this outfit is a really good example of high-low dressing, and I did an entire video about it. I will link it above here, but basically the premise of it is that you're pairing opposites, so really feminine pieces with more masculine pieces. Definitely one of my favorite summer looks out there. Can't complain, and... I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> all right, let's move on to outfit number five. We're gonna stick with florals for a minute. I wanna throw this on, and then I wanna add this asymmetrical brown tank top to it. Okay, I think I kind of love this. I have never paired these two together, but I feel like it's giving 90s. I feel like it's almost giving Sarah Jessica Parker in Sex and the City. Now the question is, what type of shoes do I wear with this? And I think I know what I want to do. So let me just do it. <laughs> I think I want to add some of these brown tall boots. I think it would just look really nice, but let's throw it on and see. And if these don't work, we can throw something else on. All right. I love it with the boots. I really do. Oh my God. I love this outfit so much. And honestly, this is why I love doing videos like this so much because I almost force myself to come up with new different combinations that not only inspire you guys, but inspire me as well. So this is definitely gonna be going into my outfit inspo photo chamber, I guess you could call it. 
and I'm probably gonna be wearing this the next time I go out to dinner. All right, so let's move on to outfit number six. I have my easy shorts here, which I've talked quite a bit about in previous videos. I think that everybody needs a pair of easy shorts in their summer wardrobe. I will link a video above here about my mini summer capsule wardrobe where I talk a little bit more about them, but everybody just needs a pair of easy shorts. Sometimes you don't wanna wear denim shorts, sometimes you don't wanna wear your bike shorts, and you just need something that is easy, of course. <laughs> All right, I got the easy shorts on. I also threw a white tank top on because I'm gonna put this white linen button up over the tank top, obviously. It's oversized, it's very flowy, casual, relaxed. But then I wanna try to put my belt bag around the waist. Just hear me out, let me put it on real quick and I'll show you what I mean. I feel like it's giving pirate, but yo-ho, let's do it. <laughs> it's always a challenge for me to style this when it is buttoned so it's not giving pirate, you know? We love a style challenge. So anyways, I wanna put this around my waist to see what it looks like, but I'm also gonna be putting on my black sandals just so we don't have something like super stark in my midsection, just so we have it like a little bit balanced. Thoughts? I don't know if I like this or not. I kind of wanna unbutton this. Okay, I don't hate it when it's unbuttoned. I kind of like how the belt bag is actually, I mean, it's acting as a belt, of course, it's a belt bag, but I kind of like how it's taming the oversized button up. So, um, actually, I kind of like it. It's kind of growing on me a little bit. Maybe it'll look different in the camera than it does in person, which is typically the case when I do videos like this. I will love an outfit and then I will see it on the camera and I'll be like, oh my God. But anyways, if you have a belt bag, if you have a fanny pack, if you're a millennial like myself, use it as a functional and fashionable accessory. Like that's the whole point of them, right? And yeah. Okay, so with that, let's move on to outfit number seven. I wanted to do something with this flowy see-through dress. Um, I'll be pairing a black tank top and black bike shorts underneath it. I want to play with the shape of this a little bit or maybe the lack of shape and just see what I can do with it. So let's throw it on and let me think what this would look good with. All right, so I put the dress on and I had this black tank top underneath it, but the straps on this were just too thick to wear underneath the really skinny straps of the dress. So I just put it on top. I just layered it on top. So it kind of looks like this is a skirt, but it's actually a dress, obviously. So we're just gonna work with it. So I already did something to the shape because I put the tank top on top, it kind of, draws a little bit more attention to my waist. However, I wanna add a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a belt. Sometimes I'm not sure how the gold belt is going to look. Like sometimes it's just a little bit too stark, but I think against the black, it works well. And I don't know, it's just really cute. So I think what I would like to do is balance this in two more ways. I wanna add my black flats. And then I think I wanna add my white pearl bag uh we'll see hang on all right i come bearing three options actually so first option is the brown bag hate it the white bag i actually yep i like it it's the white bag so this is a great example of how you can add a belt to a dress now if you just have a standard black belt that works as well if it's not tight enough, you can always take a little elastic hair tie, put it around the belt and it'll just help secure it in place. That's what I do every single time. I love that this is kind of giving like dark swan in a way. Not really, it's just the ballet flats I love and the fun movement of the skirt. So again, I've said this a million times, but obviously I know you're not gonna have like one to one exactly the same items in your wardrobe, but I'm sure you have something similar to this in terms of like a flowy dress or maybe a black dress or maybe even a skirt that you could do something with. Add a belt, give yourself some shape, and then create some contrast with more accessories. Maybe throw a pair of ballet flats on, can't go wrong. All right, so let's move on to the last outfit, which is number eight. 
kind of want to get back to basics a little bit just in terms of a very simple clean denim outfit okay so i have a pair of are these my these are my 501s i might actually grab another pair and then i have this cashmere shirt from quince and i know what you're thinking cashmere during the summer sounds like a crime and it's not, let me tell you something. <laughs> Quince has sent me a bunch of stuff before. I love working with them. They're truly my favorite brand on the planet. And this is something that I really wanted to try because a lot of the reviews were saying it was very lightweight, it was very breathable. And I was just like, hmm. And I've worn it a bunch since I've received it. And I really, really like it, especially for summer. It's just a little bit more of an elevated type of t-shirt. So let me throw it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Again, we are going back to basics here, but we have a little sense of elevation. Now, of course, the distressed features in the denim are bringing it down a little bit, making it a little bit more casual. But like I said, this cashmere t-shirt is everything. It's just making it look a little bit more, like I said, elevated. So for the shoes, I threw on my orange mules. These are the comfiest pair of heels that I have in my wardrobe. I wore them to a wedding a couple days ago and wore them literally the entire night. No changing into flip-flops here. Now again, I'm kind of stuck between the bags. This feels like a little too casual. This feels like a little blocky, kind of what I was talking about earlier in the video. Uh, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So this is something I struggle with a lot with these shoes actually is what bag to pair them with. Cause I like to generally match my shoes to my bags. Not all the time, of course, but yeah. But I think this actually works the best. Now, are there better options out there? Most likely, but this is what I have. So this is what we're working with. And this is the final outfit. You can add a belt if you would like to. You can do a French tuck. You can put sneakers on instead of the heels. Whatever you want to do, I support you. And what a great way to end the video. All right, you guys, that is the end of the video. Leave a comment down below which outfit you're going to copy first. Was there any that really stuck out to you? Any that you're really excited to try? Let me know. I would love to hear about it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I am so appreciative of your support. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.